Roll call 2 and 9 here. And uh, got an unboxing to do. So uh, got this from my shop like 25 minutes ago. And we'll take a look. Of course, it's a Smith & Wesson. Take that out of the package. See what else it comes with. This is a SD9VE. Uh, this is a popular gun back in the day. This is a budget offering from Smith & Wesson. Get the box out of the way. You get your, your lock. Something. Congratulations. Yeah. This is the second Smith that I own. Uh, warning. And then your manual. That's what you get out of the box. Here's the gun itself. Again, it's fresh. It's brand new. We got chamber flag in there. Take that out. There it is. <clears throat> the SD9 VE. There it is from Smith and Wesson. Uh, this has uh, three dot sight system, as you can see there. Uh, these are not night sights. These are just plain old sights. Uh, they look like you can probably knock those out and put some uh, night sights on there. It's chambered in nine millimeter. Comes with two mags. Uh, I believe these are it's 15 rounds, uh, 16 if you carry with one in the hole. It doesn't have any kind of safety in there. Uh, the only thing that that I don't like about this gun is the trigger. It's got that hinge trigger stuff again. Uh, just eh, I'm not a big fan of the the hinge trigger. Been looking online, there is a trigger upgrade for it. I might throw it in there. I might not. Uh, it's got front serrations there, uh, back slide serrations there, uh, not, not too shabby, you can get, you can get a good purchase on it, uh, the stippling on there is decent, it's good, uh, I would say this is the size of probably, like, a 19, a Glock 19, uh, loaded chamber indicator there, um, all in all, I'm pretty impressed, uh, the stippling is pretty aggressive in the back, uh, on the sides, it's a little smooth, and then it's got a little bit here in the front of the uh, the grip. So, oh, it's got finger impressions there. So this is the first gun of the new year. Uh, I got this for a good deal. Uh, it was one ninety nine ninety nine. We had to wait for these guns to come in, and everybody had rain checks, including myself. So that'd be the, probably the next pistol I'm gonna get. Uh, Smith & Wesson, my shield, has been a good gun. That's in 45. I carry that around a lot. Uh, whether I'm going to carry this gun or not, I don't know. If I do change the trigger and start upgrading sights and all that jazz, uh, it might be just a range gun. Uh, it does have a, a, a rail uh, right there, so you can put some kind of flashlight or maybe some kind of red dot <clears throat> on it, like one of those grippy red dot thingies, the cheap skis. Uh, it doesn't have a anything milled out uh, for an optic on top uh, decent little gun as far as I know I'm gonna go and shoot it and see how it performs I've got uh, I think I got about 200 rounds I can put through this gun and see what it does uh, I've watched this gun for quite some time on the interwebs uh, I know a couple of guys that do own one of these and they've never had a problem with it Smith & Wesson is pretty good on their quality control but you never know uh, I like it. I think it would probably serve a purpose as a nightstand gun. Uh, technically, I keep my Glock on the nightstand, but I might keep this one on there and put the Glock back in the safe because uh, that Glock is one of the guns that I carry. This gun, would I carry it? I don't know. I'm going to have to put a bunch of rounds through it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it's a striker-fired gun. Again, mags fall freely out of it. Uh, no... No problem there. They come right out of there. Uh, pretty good mags. Uh, metal magazines. Metal mags. Uh, again, it's chambered in 9mm. Uh, Smith & Wesson does this weird stuff. It's got 16 on one side, and then it's got 15 on the other. I don't know. I don't know why they do that. Uh, I call it a 15 plus 1 uh, type of firearm. Uh, it does have the little Smith & Wesson logo right there. This is the SD9VE. Chambered in 9mm. Uh, I bet you could probably move these sights a little bit and adjust them if you had to. It doesn't come with any kind of tool or any of that stuff uh, that I've seen in the box. 
But this is the first purchase of 2020. Uh, it, seem, it seems to fit the hand well. I can reach the slide stop, slide release pretty well. So uh, that's another thing that drew me to this gun. Uh, the rumor has it every time Smith & Wesson sells one of these guns, they have to pay Glock something. I don't know if that's true or not. Possibly. Uh, but it is a Glockish style gun. Uh, it kind of resembles that. Other than that, we're going to probably go out and shoot this thing and uh, give it a go. Um, what else can I tell you about this thing? It looks like it breaks down just like a Glock. It looks like you have those two tabs right there. Pull down, probably have to pull the trigger uh, to get the slide off and all that jazz. I'll do, I'll do another video like that. I just want to share this with you. This is the Smith & Wesson SD9VE. I think I've watched about 10, 15 videos on this gun. Uh, they seem to like it. Uh, it's a budgety gun. If you can find it uh, for the price I found it for, man, you better scoop one up and, and give it a shot uh, and see if it's going to work out for you. Again, it's got pretty decent serrations on there so you can you know uh get a good purchase on there and and pull back but there it is the sd9 ve comes in nine millimeter you get two mags and uh with that being said we're gonna go out and shoot it i like to thank my old and my new subscribers just the people that zip through the channel greatly appreciate it like comment subscribe share your favorite gun content all over those interwebs We'll take this thing out and we'll put about two 250 rounds through it and see how this gun reacts. Uh, so, like always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.